finally, the security footage of the CM Punk and Jack Perry incident at AEW's All In event has been made public, and the wrestling world has a lot to say about their dust-up that resulted in Punk being fired from AEW and having Tony Khan fearing for his life. All In was AEW's biggest show to date, with over 70,000 people in attendance at Wembley Stadium in London. Punk almost didn't make it out of the ring for his match against Samoa Joe, following the fight with Perry backstage, now affectionately known as Brawl In. I didn't punch anybody. I just choked somebody a little bit. This all stemmed from an incident on the show when Perry looked at the camera and said, Real glass, cry me a river in reference to a previous dispute between Punk and Perry about the latter using real glass in a segment. On MMA Hour, Punk said he told Khan he quit right then and there, but went out to do the match because it wasn't fair to the producer of the match, Joe and the fans. Punk ended up winning the match, despite the altercation that happened just a short time before. In response to Khan releasing the footage on AEW Dynamite to further the Young Bucks vs FTR storyline, Punk's reaction was subtle. He simply posted a photo to his Instagram story of George W. Bush. The photo depicts the mission accomplished speech the former president gave following the United States invasion of Iraq. President Bush said that the US and its allies had prevailed. Punk has yet to respond to the release of the footage in more than just the photo. According to a Fightful Select report, the backstage response from the AEW locker room was tepid and the attitude was deflated following the segment when the Young Bucks presented the video. The report said it wasn't entirely due to Khan's decision to make the footage public, but rather the knowledge of the inevitable online backlash that would follow. According to Fightful, some talent in AEW expressed their opinions at the time devoted to the Perry Punk video could have been used to promote talents that are actually on AEW TV. While the report mentions the general backstage atmosphere, no specific AEW talent has come out publicly on social media to comment on the decision or the footage itself. Matt and Nick Jackson were reportedly fine with the segment, as was FTR, who were known friends of Punk. The top guys responded to the airing of the clip in storyline in the ring, immediately following it being shown. The Young Bucks said that they showed the footage because they believed FTR orchestrated the entire brawl to distract them from their own match, in which FTR got the win over them. In their segment, Cash Wheeler asked why the Bucks were showing the footage in the first place and what they were trying to accomplish. He said he was done with the entire situation. He added that FTR will beat the Bucks in their match at the upcoming Dynasty pay-per-view because they're sick of them being petty. Dax Harwood said their match isn't all in or anything that happened backstage, and the Bucks are just trying to blow the roof off the foundation of AEW and are more concerned about their EVP status. I'm tired of all the negative news, all the bad news. In the Fightful Select report, it was said that inside WWE, the airing of the footage was described as a self-own. Some within the company told the outlet that they were unconcerned about it. Punk is reportedly not receiving any kind of blowback or issues from the video internally. The report also said that one person who spent time in both companies downplayed the controversy and compared it to the same kind of promotional tactic used during the Monday Night Wars in the 90s. One talent within WWE who made his opinions known in a snarky social media post was Grayson Waller. Making fun of the situation, he posted on X that he would be releasing backstage security footage of himself and tag team partner Austin Theory taking on the WWE locker room. Waller said, It's time the world knows how tough the SmackDown tag champs really are. Fellow wrestler Dijak responded with his own humorous comment. It's true, I saw it. There was real glass everywhere. Sean Spears also seemingly responded to the segment as it was airing, posting a gif of a person throwing a yoga ball at the wall and knocking himself out. If there was anyone outside of Punk who was going to have a comment about the brawl in footage airing, it would be Drew McIntyre. The Scottish warrior has had heat with the Second City Saint ever since Punk returned at Survivor Series and in storyline. McIntyre was the person to injure Punk at the Royal Rumble. First chance to get in the ring with Younger to mess you up, and I didn't just mess him up, I took him out and took his spot. He also hasn't stopped trolling Punk on social media, in promos and in interviews. Speaking to The Ringer, McIntyre referenced a brawling incident between Punk and Perry. He said that he didn't believe Punk would ever be in physical condition to wrestle him because he's literally made of glass, real glass, and McIntyre would break him. On Wednesday, a half hour before Dynamite went on the air, McIntyre was back at it again on X, 
referencing the fact the video was to be shown later that night. He posted, Time for tape study. Where can I hurt him? Weak spots? What's his hand speed like? I want to humiliate Damien Priest. Former WWE superstar Ryback also commented on the video being aired. Ryback and Punk have a history, with neither man liking the other after Punk called Ryback an unsafe worker on the Art of Wrestling podcast. Since Punk made the comments, Ryback has been taking shots at him for years. Following the release of the video on Dynamite, Ryback went on a rant on social media targeted more at Punk than anything Perry did. He criticized Punk as the aggressor for the way he lunged at Perry. Ryback wrote, Jack was 100% unfazed, and fragile Phil proceeded to throw a hissy fit. Now just imagine if an agent behaved in this manner at a talent. They would be fired immediately, and despite Phil being 55 years old, he has the maturity level of a middle school dropout. Ryback ended the post by saying that anyone who said Punk told the truth failed to understand the finer details and Punk's lack of self-control. Despite the pair's years-long ongoing feud, Punk didn't respond to Ryback.